Hi, this is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what most people don't realize is, let's say you have 10 accounts that are all passed through that have been sent to collections, right? And you have a district court judgment and a superior court judgment on an unsecured debt, and it probably was the home equity line of credit. Ooh. Now, there was a creditor that decided to employ an attorney, yes, to file a motion in district court of Spokane, Washington, when we weren't residents of Washington State. Now, they signed for it because I had a P.O. box at the UPS store there in Airway Heights. And then they decided to issue a superior court order where I wasn't a resident. I didn't get actual notice of the court hearings, but they issued a judgment in 2011. <laughs> then they issued the writ of garnishment in 2012. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, when you pay one payment to any of the unsecured debt uh, creditors, yes, all of them get to reset the six-year period for debt collection. Right. <laughs> So when you decided to destroy that writ of garnishment because you would not garnish the wages of my wife, right? if one garnishment had paid one payment on that unsecured debt, all the other creditors that I might owe money to <laughs> could have had a new six-year period to collect that money that's owed. So you're not only getting sued for issuing it without any notice to the parties, because I'm one of those that would have said, oh, you've decided it's been six years since you issued the, the writ of garnishment? Yes. <laughs> and my wife got a job someplace that allegedly I was emailing her co-workers. <laughs> And you decided not to garnish her wages, myself knowing that if you did just garnish one payment of 25 fucking dollars, it would have reset the clock on what could have been $100,000 of unsecured debt. Now, all my creditors, because I'll get a credit report, yes, you will, I'll look at all the debt that we had when we moved to Guam so that I could get a job during the credit crisis, okay? Now, a lot of these uh, credit card companies, Bank of America, Capital One, Home Depot, because you stuck me with $180,000 fucking dollars with unsecured debt. Some of them are a little lax in uh, actual accounting of the uh, actual date of when it was that they charged the account off. <laughs> Some of them keep it around for a year just wondering, well, should we charge it off or shouldn't we? Should we charge it off? <laughs> now, if one payment had been made on that uh, Superior Court clerk, 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 clerk case, yes, um, every creditor that I owed money to would have been able to collect for the next six years. Now, <laughs> What you did is you destroyed ooh, the ability of the other creditors to be able to collect on the debts that they purchased. Now, I know about this because I thought about getting into the debt settlement business. Yes, you can make a lot of money if you're really good at what you do. <laughs> but I did not get notice as the party to that debt. And you would say, well, we have the legal right to get rid of it because you made no payments for six years. Correct. The problem was you had no legal right to not garnish your fucking wages.